It was a year the Twin Towers fell that I found out my pastor fell into moral sin. I was in Bible school at that time. I just remember how nonchalant he was about it. He was like, within a few months, we'll have be able to be back in ministry. He was so focused on ministry that he wasn't fully aware of the impact the sin had caused all of us students. It was definitely devastating. And within months, the church was completely destroyed. It was a wonderful worldwide ministry, but because of moral failure, it was completely destroyed and no longer exists. I said all of that to say this. I want to share a few things that are going to help you get through the last days in the light of the moral failure of so many people. And I'm not here to condemn anyone. But I am here to encourage you to keep your eyes on Jesus. If you are allowing the moral failure of a leader to impact you, that means that your eyes were on your leader and not on Jesus. So as much as we put people up on a pedestal, the problem with that is it gives the devil the opportunity to knock it out from underneath them. So here are some key things that um, I believe you should do if your more if your leader has fall into moral failure. Number one, forgive. Forgive them for their moral failure. Forgive them for sinning against you and let go of the offense from your heart immediately and understand there are people just like you. And maybe if it were, you were in their shoes, you might have done the same thing. And we're not excusing sin. I'm just saying we don't know what kind of pressure they were under or what led up to that. Like again, it's not an excuse for sin. But we understand they're humans, they're not God. Number two, pray for them. Prayer is going to help you forgive them and release that pain from your heart. Take that time to talk to God about the hurt and pain that's caused you. And if you know them on a personal level, go to them and say, this really hurt me, but I release you from the debt. I feel you owe me. Because the Bible says, Jesus said to forgive those debtors. Unforgiveness, what it, what it essentially is, is holding people in debt. Like you feel like they owe you. Release them from their debt that you feel they owe you. So that you can be free. So that was number two. Number three... Don't stop going to church just because a few people have fallen away. This is the last days. They warned us about this. The Bible warns us about the great falling away. It is here. It's just no surprise. Whatever you do, hang on tightly to the remnant. Hang on tightly to those who are still walking. You're going to need their support. Don't turn away and hide away from God. He is your ally. He is your comforter. Which leads me to number four. Go to God. He's your source right now. Don't point your finger at him. He didn't do this. Don't clump him together with the moral failure of someone else. Go to him and he will help you through this. 
I want to say on behalf of all of those who have failed me, forgive. I'm sorry for what has been done to you. I'm sorry how it's hurt you and impacted your life. But don't don't turn away from God. Not right now. You're going to need him for this tough, tough time. This dark time. Take a, take the hand of the shepherd who's going to lead you through the valley of the shadow of death and take you to those still waters. You're going to need his help. You're going to need the help of other Christians. And lastly, I want to say, and do an inventory check in your heart. Evaluate yourself to see if you're in the faith. Maybe you're not in any better position. Maybe you are being affected on a level where you don't even know that you're being impacted by the lukewarm state of your church, the apostasy and delusion of your church. Get yourself right with God. Even if you're the last person on earth, you got to have this mindset in these last days. You've got to have this mindset. Even if I was the last person on earth, I will follow you, Jesus. Though none go with me, I will still follow. I hope this encourages you. I've been where you're at. And I wish somebody would have reached out to me. So I am reaching out to you. I'm reaching out to you. I'm telling you, I know where you're at. You're going to make make it through this, but you got to keep your eyes on God. You have to take comfort in the Holy Spirit right now. And you will become a stronger Christian if you don't throw in the towel and you keep on going. Jesus loves you. Never forget that. He loves you. And you're going to make it through. No matter who fails you, no matter who throws in the towel, no matter who goes out and starts serving the devil, you have a choice to either turn away from God, just like the person who failed you, or stick close to Jesus and go over that finish line. And I pray you do in Jesus' name.